Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a little bit of a shorter video just because I don't have a whole whole lot to talk about. But as the title suggests, we are doing the April manga reading log. I do these, or started doing these every month. Just to let you guys know what manga I've been reading during the month that isn't uh, being made into like its own video like I do with my One Piece reviews. Uh, stuff like that or just any manga I read that um, you know I make it into its own video just the off volumes that I read throughout the month uh, that's what I cover and so this month or this past month because it's now May uh, I did not read a lot of manga whatsoever I read two volumes total uh, of manga so I'm going to be talking about those um, I had been reading a lot of books, actually. Um, right now I'm just about finished with my third book that I started reading, um, over the last couple of months, so that's exciting. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a review on that at some point. There's a video that I want to do that would maybe give context to the Vinland Saga video. Uh, it's another video of the same style, um, and arguably equal importance if not more so um that would probably they'd kind of go hand in hand so yeah more videos are coming soon i know it's been a minute again since i uploaded i say that like every time but yeah without further ado let's get into the actual reviews but before we do i just want to say thank you all for watching and if you guys do go on to enjoy please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already because I would greatly appreciate it. And if you do really enjoy and want to be part of the community, be sure to join the Discord link um, or the official server with the Discord link in the description below. Uh, we would love to have you, have some awesome nerdy conversations and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, anyways, let's get into it. Okay, so the first volume I did read during the month of April was Die Dark Volume 5. This was a new release that came out at the end of March. And yeah, once again, Seven Seas uh, absolutely knocked it out of the park uh, with this release, as they tend to do. Um, like this, uh, Die Dark and uh, Colorless are probably my two favorite releases by them. Granted, they're some of the only releases I've read by them, uh, but they're just such high quality. Uh, be that the paper quality as well as like the covers and stuff uh, yeah just fantastic all around uh, Die Dark is one of my favorite series that are ongoing right now uh, I haven't ever been really caught up with the series because before when I read it I was getting caught up but now I think since volume 4 and now volume 5 I'm officially a part of that you know crowd of people that are having to wait until the next volume actually does come out uh, and as far as I know we don't get these very often so you know it's going to be a bit of a wait but it's all good uh Die Dark again it's fantastic I've said this over and over again uh, over the last few months <clears throat> since I did the three volume rule video yeah it's great uh it's funny absolutely hilarious the dynamics between all the characters uh to me i've said this before and i think the three volume rule video uh but it's almost like a really screwed up one piece or like it gives me like guardians of the galaxy vibes but just very grotesque and uh artistically abstract uh with how some of the environments and characters are executed uh, it's very gory and dark uh, but it's also comedic, so it's like a dark humor kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's very well done. Art's great. Um, the story, I do think, is being a bit more developed in this volume. Uh, they started doing that a little bit in the previous volume, now that we're getting introduced to, like, this cult. And they're doing a bunch of stuff, uh, so... Yeah, we're diving deeper into that, as well as exploring the past of uh, one of the new members of the crew, uh, Dame Maru, I believe his name is. Uh, so yeah, we're learning more about him and learning more about the um, antagonistic force uh, throughout the series, um, which is becoming ever prominent. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited to check out what else comes, or that, that was a weird sentence. 
uh, whatever else comes out for the series. That's what I meant to say. Um, yeah, I'll be first in line for it. So yeah, that's Die Dark Volume 5. All right, and the next thing I did read, the second thing I did read this month is something a bit odd, and I'm sure you guys saw it in the thumbnail and probably the title of the video as well, uh, but that is Kaiju Girl Caramelese. Now, this is something that I wouldn't usually read. It's not something up my alley. Um, I've read romance series before. Not all of it, but like Our Heart Ride, which is one that I actually enjoyed, and I'll bring up again here in just a little bit. Um... But I tend to not really mess around with series that are solely focused around a romance or like a drama. Um, you know, I like a good action fantasy or sci-fi with a good romance subplot, but not like a romance drama or a rom-com. I don't usually gravitate towards those kinds of series. However, I saw this one day at my local bookstore, um, my work, and... I thought it was interesting. It's got kaiju stuff. My girlfriend loves kaiju and like Pacific Rim and Godzilla, stuff like that. Uh, so I thought it was interesting. It reminded me of her. So I picked it up kind of on a whim, you know, uh, but I thought I'd give it a shot. And maybe if it was really entertaining, it could be another series that I dive into. Uh, but I don't think that that is the case for this series. It's, um, well, I guess I should elaborate. So this is just me editing this in here. I went on a whole rant about this series here and I didn't really explain what it was before I started giving my opinions on it. So I guess I'll just step in right here to give an idea of what this is. Uh, the story is like a high school romance story about this girl right here who gets bullied a lot. Uh, turns out she has this underlying condition where if she gets really stressed or flustered, she starts to turn into a kaiju. And if you don't know what a kaiju is, it's like this monstrosity that's like the size of a skyscraper, be it like your Godzilla's, your uh, Mothra, King Ghidorah, stuff like that. Um, just those big dinosaur looking thingies, right? Um, she turns into one of those if she gets really stressed. So when she, there's like this guy she likes and she gets really flustered around him she slowly, her body starts to turn all reptilian and stuff, and she has to try and hide it while also maintaining a relationship, and that's why she's sort of closed off to everybody uh, around her. And she's, like I said, she's been bullied her whole life because she's kind of weird, and that's just what the story is about. Uh, it wasn't bad by any means, but it was kind of mid, kind of meh. Um, I don't know exactly what I would rate it, out of 10 just based on this first volume uh the art is decent uh but at 13 dollars a volume this is a yen press volume i don't think it's really worth it uh somehow despite having like a fantasy element to it or like a sci-fi element to it it still is more it feels more generic than what I would consider a generic romance story like Alhar Ride um, or even a similar series like uh, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maids or Dragon Maid. Both series are, I think, superior to this. Um, again, I said Alhar Ride is more of a generic themed series. It's just a basic high school romance kind of thing but it's far more well-written and it's for even in its first volume, uh, which is really only what I can compare it to since I only read one volume of this. Maybe if I read more of it, I, my opinion would be a little bit different, but the first volume of this didn't blow me away. But what I'm trying to say is in its first volume, Owl Harder Ride was just far more well-written and despite it, again, being generic, um, it feels less generic than this. Also, like I said, something very similar in the same vein of like fantasy anime girls in like a modern setting miss kobayashi's dragon maids is one of my favorite anime of all time and yeah i just think that that's more interesting uh than this so far again if i read more of this it might be a bit better but the first volume didn't really blow me away and at that price point probably not going to be picking up any more of it anyways guys that is all i did read in the month of april as far as manga goes um i will be covering the books i did read um 
coming soon in a video but i guess i want to take this time now since this is a short video to give just a little bit of updates for the channel for the month of may um which we're now in the beginning um school's almost out so hopefully i'll have more time and more you know if i'm just bored at the house i can use that time to make content um you know spend you know the summer focusing on working out and going to work uh, make that money you know what i'm saying uh, more time doing that maybe also bring back streaming because i should have more time theoretically to play video games which would be cool uh, streaming isn't something i've done in quite a while and something that i put on the back burner uh, so yeah streaming maybe making a return uh, definitely making more content hopefully because yeah I need to make more content and this is the perfect opportunity being that I'm not at school so yeah big things are to come in the next month uh, as school is coming to a close for the year I, I know that's sort of like a duh kind of thing but I did want to put that out there for you guys to let you guys know that you know there is more coming very soon uh, but all that being said that is going to be about it for today's video I hope you guys did enjoy. I know this is a short one. Um, yeah, that's just all the manga I read. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would greatly appreciate it. And again, I said and again so many times in this video. I need more words. I'm just starting to realize how much I've said it. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, Discord link is in the description. Be sure to join. Love to have you. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.